The Pentagon is planning to test as soon as next year an unprecedented first of its kind weapons technology. This would be to launch an SM-3 Block 2A missile from a Navy ship to knock out an ICBM. Now SM-3s have already demonstrated an ability to knock out short and intermediate range ballistic missiles. They're fired from ship vertical launch tubes or from Aegis ashore platforms to protect, for example, the European continent from something like an Iranian launch or a rogue state ballistic missile defense. Well, this would be, according to the Pentagon Missile Defense Review, to underlay a ground-based interceptor. Those are the primary missile defense right now. They're based in Fort Greeley, Alaska, Vandenberg, California. They're land-launch fixed weapons intended to knock out an ICBM as it travels through space. Now, this would bring a whole new strategic element to missile defense. If you have Navy ships that are able to underlay or support an ICBM traveling in space, they can go beyond the Earth's atmosphere, which is roughly 60 miles above the surface, and knock out an ICBM, either earlier in its trajectory, after its initial or boost flight, or as it approaches its terminal phase. One Pentagon official explained it this way, it can't go as high as something like a GBI, but it could be very useful in supplementing or underlaying that kind of technological capability. And what it can do is use its seekers. In fact, a missile defense agency budget justification as far back as 2016 specifically says this SM-3 Block 2A can double the seeker capacity. It also has a 21-inch diameter compared to earlier SM-3s. It has a better targeting capability. It can go faster and it's larger as well. So this can bring something new to missile defense. If there's intelligence pointing out concern about a potential enemy launch, Navy ships could use their mobility to go into position to knock out a launch earlier in the process, detect a launch earlier in the process. They also could help fortify GBIs by the SM-3 Block 2A goes beyond the existing standard missile threes, which are launched from Navy vertical launch systems on board ships, and bring something new to missile defense. They have recently demonstrated an ability to do what's called launch on remote. This was a very successful test where there's a radar relay where, for instance, you have a forward position radar somewhere like South Korea or Japan. It can cue, send information to a ship-based radar so the interceptor doesn't have to rely purely on the ship-oriented radar to recognize a threat. This allows recognition earlier in the process, faster sensor to shooter time, more time for commanders to make decisions. This is of great significance. It's precisely the kind of thing which the SM-3 Block 2A is intended to bring to missile defense. Chris Osborne, Warrior Maven.